On a recent day, Taiwan's defense ministry reported the detection of more than 40 Chinese warplanes operating around the self-ruling island. Beijing continues to assert its claim to democratic Taiwan as its own territory, which it intends to retake, even by force if necessary. Throughout this year, China has intensified its military and diplomatic pressures on the island. In a statement, the ministry disclosed that, within a 24-hour period leading up to 6 a.m. on Wednesday, it had identified 43 Chinese aircraft and seven naval vessels in proximity to Taiwan. Of these, 37 aircraft had crossed the median line of the Taiwan Strait and entered Taiwan's southwest and southeast air defense identification zones. The median line divides the 180-kilometer or 110-mile waterway separating Taiwan from mainland China. Taiwan's defense minister Chu Kuocheng had previously noted that China had increased military intimidation by deploying more warplanes around the island and accelerating the deployment of ballistic missiles this year. The ministry frequently reports near-daily incursions by Chinese military aircraft, including large-scale military exercises in the waters around Taiwan. In September, China sent 103 planes around Taiwan within a 24-hour period, marking a significant escalation. Such actions have prompted Taiwan to express concerns about heightened tension and deteriorating regional security. China has been particularly sensitive to international engagement with Taiwan. Whenever officials from various countries, including the United States, meet with Taiwan's leader Tsai Ing-wen, Beijing often responds with a show of military force. Interpreting these engagements as a challenge to its claims on Taiwan's sovereignty. In recent developments, China accused Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party of pushing the island toward an accelerated, dangerous situation of war after reports emerged that Taipei planned to acquire thousands of military drones in the coming years. In the West Philippine Sea, China has accused the Philippines of intrusion but the Department of Foreign Affairs or DFA insists that it is China that is intruding into Philippine waters. The DFA issued a statement in response to the Southern Theater Command of the Chinese People's Liberation Army's claim that BRP Conrado Yap had intruded into the waters near Beihou to the Messine Lock. According to the DFA, China's allegation has no legal basis and only serves to escalate tensions in the West Philippine Sea. Beihou to the Messine Lock is an integral part of Philippine territory. The department asserts that there is no requirement for the country to seek approval from other nations when its vessels are present and navigating within its own territorial sea. The DFA states that the Philippines' conduct of maritime patrols in the waters around Bejo de Messine Lock is a legitimate and routine act of a sovereign country within its territory and territorial sea. Furthermore, the DFA reminds Chinese authorities that their interference with Philippine vessels and harassment and intimidation of Filipino fishermen. The Armed Forces of the Philippines spokesperson Colonel Metal Aguilar has also refuted China's claim that it prevented the Filipino ship from carrying out its mission. He stated, Not true. An illegal occupant cannot prevent the legitimate owner from entering his house and backyard, in a message to reporters on Tuesday. It is important to note that China's operations at Scarborough Shoal, which have been ongoing since May 2012, are seen as unlawfully obstructing Filipino fisherfolk from exercising their traditional fishing rights at the shoal. This ring-shaped coral reef is situated 124 nautical miles off Masinloc, Zambales, well within the Philippines' 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone. Importantly, the feature is located at least 472 nautical miles away from the nearest coast of China, underscoring the Philippines' legitimate claim to the area. Among other aggressive acts in Philippine waters, constitute blatant violations of international law. In 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration ruled that the Philippines has exclusive sovereign rights over the West Philippine Sea and that China's Nine-Dash Line is invalid. 